it makes more sense for you then to it makes sense if there is a doesn't it, okay let me ask you a question wouldn't you think it makes more sense that if there is a creator that he would want us to lead a life according to what he wants so the first person to ever made the mobile phone he would have had yeah, a manual. My argument is, if there was a creator, why would he let what goes on in the world go on? Okay, the problem of evil. This is commonly referred to as the problem of evil. Why would an all good, all benevolent creator um, allow such things to happen in the world? Things which are caused calamities, death, death, destruction, whatever the case may be, injustices. Yeah. But as I said, this is not the land of milk and honey. No, no, you mean. No. You understand? This yeah, is, life yeah. is a test. Yeah. If, we, if it's all uh, uh, milk and honey now, where is the test? Yeah, no, that's a valid point. You understand? So point. God, so then God then sees, okay, if you go for a particular difficulty or calamity, will you come to me? Will you, will you invoke me? Because I am your creator, you're going to return to me. So those who laugh and say, oh, <laughs> how can someone, like, how can, we, how can there be a creator and we're going to be all created again? The fact that we're here in the first place is evidence that we're here in a miraculous way. In a set way, yeah, no, I get what you, mean. you understand. So that, so as people of faith, then we know some things are certain: death, and that we had assert that our Creator is someone so, who has created the whole universe. Because the other, if you think about, it, what's the other possibility? Something coming out of nothing, and no sensible person can really think along those yeah. lines. I mean, I mean, like I said, science tells us 13.7 billion years ago, bang, an explosion took place. How did that all come about? What was around it? Incomprehensible, yes? Yeah, yeah. However, the point is, it makes more sense that there's something beyond the universe which created the universe yeah, no. in the metaphysical. As me and you speak, if I stretch my hand out to you like this, there's, there's space. Yeah, yeah. The universe, when the Big Bang happened, the various elements went forth. Space, time, matter, energy yeah. went forth. Okay? So, but what we, cannot, what we can't understand is the metaphysical. What was there before? that big bang what metaphysical entity there no was one knows. no one knows but the thing is it's more plausible and more probabilistic that it was set by something beyond the universe oh, who ignited yeah. it otherwise what would we do we would get into the problem of infinite regression which means it goes on forever and if that is the case we would never be in the present yeah, no, sure. just say we get a massive past series of chain of events will we ever come into the present no it will be infinite so the infinite regression makes no sense in, in practicality. In theory, it may mathematical, but not in practicality. Yeah, no, no, mate, you're right. But so, what, I always stay the same and I always be an atheist. I don't, I just... But you see, that you'd have, but nothing. one thing, that's fine, no problem. I mean, you know, we're, 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 there's no compulsion in anything, like if you want to believe it, by all means. But it's something for you to consider, what I may have spoken to you, weighing out the probabilities. Yeah, yeah. Is there more of a chance that there is a creator who set this all in motion or we've all come out of nothing, which is too incomprehensible to even consider. How can nothing create something? Well, it could be debated for hours and hours, couldn't it? Well, in effect, not, because in the philosophical element of it, it just makes you consider. Science can only use a certain amount in, in terms of empiricism. It's an excellent tool to use, but at the end of the day, it's only a particular tool. And, you know, in people of faith, they encourage the understanding of science how the universe came into the existence, the various protons, electrons, hydrogen, helium, which all went forth. What was it that caused this? It must have had a conscious, think about it this way. It must have had a conscious will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, when then, so how then can one remain rigid in the belief of atheism then, that it all just propped into existence? I don't believe, no, no, I, no, no, I believe in... I say I'm an atheist, I just don't, I just don't follow any religion. I just, that's how I just... No, that, follow my own way of life, that's about it. Give me two seconds. Okay, yeah. well, what I'm inviting you to understand who the Creator is. You're not compelled to, I can offer you a nice free copy of the Quran in English. That our belief is that God is one, supreme being, unlike His creation. Yeah. It's beyond His creation, which makes sense in terms of someone who would be in the metaphysical, who's created the universe. Can I give you a free copy of the Quran in English? If you want, I'll read it. You're I a gentleman. I won't say no to read it. You're a gentleman. Yeah, Quran. Yeah. Um, yeah, can you come back, bro? Until the cows come home, it all boils down to that, yeah. that singular point. And it makes more sense, therefore, that there must be something so beyond, it, so astronomically powerful, who's created all this, it could only then point to a divine creator. Something beyond. 
and the Quran, which you can read, yeah. it says, Allah says, God says, say he is God, the one, the absolute, yeah. the one who everyone needs. He begets not, meaning he doesn't give, he's not given, he doesn't give birth to, or neither is, does, um, uh, does he give birth to. So he doesn't give birth to anyone, neither was a birth given to him. And there is nothing like unto him. Oh, I've got a good hour and a half train journey. So good man, I'll, have a good read. I'll have a good read. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Keir. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah.